Alright, and I'm back again. What I did this time was I kept that setting off. Yeah, I, I turned it back on. I kept the setting off, but what I did was I reduced my, um... Wait, no. Hold on. This still isn't working too good. I reduced my speed, or my, my cap, down to 3,500 instead of 4,500. And uh, I'm dropping occasional frames, but they're not they're not too bad. Yeah, the speed should be fine now. It's just the frames might might drop a bit, but I dropped a few when I started up, and that seems to be it now. Uh, we'll see if it gets really bad. That's butter. It's better. Okay, so I checked the recordings too. Uh, it's the recording cut out before it because the thing is when my sh when my speed drops to zero You don't see shit wait is that you we'll keep an eye out. Okay. Oh, you mean you mean you don't see anything bad All right What happened is whenever the speed gets dropped to zero? Um, it, it cuts the recording like the recording OBS can't stop the recording properly it, like bugs out Probably because I'm recording an FLV right now Which I probably shouldn't do um, so it lost, like, the last, like, two or three minutes of progress I made, so I didn't capture any of the battle in this room, but everything else is, is fine. Alright, the good news is that the, sh the frame drops seem to be a lot less frequent than the speed drops, and right now the speed is kind of consistently staying around where I had it. Looks so much better. Well, that's good. Okay. Oh, I really hope that th this fixes the issue, like, completely from now on. I don't even know why that option was enabled. I don't think I've ever enabled that myself. But I think we may have finally, finally fixed the stream until the next uh, thing comes up. You're a fucking genius. Yeah, you are. I, I owe you a great debt of gratitude for this. It's for people with bad internet. Ah. Uh, you have bad PC. Look, he's got, he's got advertisements for his book here. 100,000. Or, uh, no, that's a million. In, Jap in Japanese, they actually don't have... Or people that hate frames, yeah. <laughs> in Japanese, they actually don't have a number, like a, a character for one million. They have a hundred ten thousands instead. Like, there's a character for a thousand, there's a character for a hundred, and there's a character for ten thousand. And then for a hundred thousand, they use ten ten thousands. And for a million, they use a uh, hundred ten thousands. So that's why whenever you see the word... Whenever you see a million written out in Japanese... Uh, it's always 100 with that symbol next to it. You've been here since Twitch was born. You know your shit. Yeah, you do. I mean, to be fair, so have I. I was here when Justin TV was still still it. In fact, I couldn't move. Uh, I couldn't move my old account from Justin TV back to Twitch, which is why my account on Twitch was originally Zy Plays Games and not Zy Red Winters because uh, that account was locked to uh, Justin TV. And then eventually I just changed it to Michael McCaw. Okay, I think... I don't think there's anything I'm supposed to do here, right? I got so lost in the sauce here, I forgot uh, to check everything. Alright, pretty good. I'm dropping about, like, 20 frames every minute, which is fine. How far along are we now? Drop frames are, are way better than the shit bit rate, yeah. Guess we'll want to keep an eye on our health and stuff. How are we halfway to the top? We just got to the ground floor. Game is running at 60 frames a second. That means the game that means the game's running at 40. Yeah. Well, I don't know. The stream's running at 60. I think this game runs at 30. I was thinking about trying to, because the thing is, I can't, some games I play run at 60, some run at 30, so I was thinking of downgrading it to 30, but at the same time, uh, I don't know. I'm dropping more frames now, though. I've dropped 1% of the stream, which is fine. I'm fine with it dropping, like, 1% to 2% of the stream. Once it gets up to 5, that's, like, a problem with me. If you're dropping frames, you're getting away with it, yeah. The, like... When I did um, Mega Man Network Transmission, I was dropping, like, two seconds of every minute of that stream. Not every minute, of every, like, 30 seconds. Like, every 30 seconds, I would lose, like, two to three seconds. And that wasn't, uh, I wasn't happy with that. 
And I just dropped all my fr Hold on. Okay, that was weird. Okay, I'm still live, right? Because it dropped to zero for like a split second. Okay. OBS, man. OBS or Twitch. Something's fucked up. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't use it on them. So if you fight Shaz and Yell, come. I'm gonna be your oracle for the evening. <laughs> There we go. Panther's fire affinity text to increase damage and an increased chance of inflicting burn. Yeah, you're gonna be my navigator for tonight. Oh, prankster leader's a character. Okay. Exceeded max number of personas in your stock. Hmm. I don't see any shadows. Hmm. Yeah, I can only hold eight. I wonder if that gets bigger. Bigger. I'm full of boys, yeah. Okay. I think we've, uh, had enough scares for one week here. Probably a plus one to power, though. It's probably not that good. Strength plus one. Yep. Anklet that makes heavy lifting easier. It's really not worth it. Not bad at all. Stairs of glory and despair. Oh wait, I don't need to use her anymore. It's time to focus on Morgana. How the fuck does an anklet make you strong? We don't question the Persona universe. If it says it makes you strong, it makes you strong, damn it. one already cooked down. Cool. We cool. Uh, give it a five out of ten. Corridor of impatience. That's me. That's me tonight. I'm the whole castle of impatience. <laughs> Best. Yo. 
bulletproof vest that helps reduce fear. That's really not stronger than anything else we already have on. It's like a no rage or no fear. I'm dropping about 2% of the stream right now. I don't think it's going to get much better than that, honestly. Whoa! Be more alert from now on. Wait, that doesn't have any effect right now. The, the alert's set at 99 automatically for this area. Just a little bit further, guys. Go! Eliminate them! A uh, the thing. There. Oh. Oh. Sure. Jack Frost. Let me out. It's not fair. I'm in a Jack Frost. Is this thing weak to? Inflicted with forgetful oh, I'm inflicted with forgetfulness. Quality's been perfect, it's just that- oh, there he is, weak to lightning. Of course, the one element I don't have on hand. I really need to fuse a persona with lightning. <laughs> Quality's been good, it's just a matter of the uh, frames dropping a little bit, okay. I mean, it's 2.3%, that's- well, more than acceptable. I would preferably like to get that down, but we can make do with it for the stream at least. At least the, the quality isn't dropping. Wouldn't even worry about it, honestly. Yeah. It's not going to show up on the recordings either way, as long as it, the stream is visible. Miracle Punch. YYX has a slight chance of becoming a Miracle Punch. Cool. It's so small it recovers fast, it's not even funny. Oh, Mona's down. I'm like, why did that just happen? Damn it, you just used Recarm. That clusterfuck you just did, no lag. Perfect. Ooh, that was that was supposed to be a 10 SP refill, and I think it's refilled like 20 for her. No lag during any of that. Okay, that's good. I shouldn't pay attention to how much percentage and rather how many frames it's going up per per lag per spike here. I tell the frames to be good while you're not watching. It's okay. It's cool. Thank you for helping me. That really, really saved my ass. No enemies nearby. Let's go on ahead. Aerial Corridor. This birdcage is just 
like the one back in Shibuya. I wonder if having Telegram open is doing any is is the cause of that. Let me close. I doubt it. That's such a lightweight program. Also, I don't need this open. I could close that. Okay. Does this mean that bastard Natsume is kicking it somewhere inside? I'd like to say we should just bust our way in, but how does it look, Sophie? It looks like it's still locked. We'll need someone to touch it so we can hear the voices in his heart. Okay then, you're up, Skull. Uh-huh. Well, it looks like it's gonna hurt, and it doesn't seem right to ask Sophie to do it. Oh, but it's cool if I do it? Yeah. Oh, come on, Skull, you're, you know, tough. And he's already experienced it once before. If anything, he's the ideal candidate. Rock, paper, scissors time. Ah, it just make us look like a bunch of dorks. All right. Do it. I could do it if you want. Yeah, it's cool. I got it. Thank you, Skull. Thank you, Skeleton. Eesh. You'd think someone his age would have at least some talent. Uh-oh. <laughs> like it matters. This kid's gonna make us a fortune. Yeah, I'm hearing voices, all right. These voices are somehow related to Natsume's emotional scars? Most likely. We just need to listen to the conversation and figure out the source of his trauma from there. <laughs> You're back in piss free. So You're zero percent piss. Something like what Shujin Academy was to Alex. We should keep listening. There's bound to be some sort of clue here. <laughs> Sir, try to keep your voice down. He'll be back any minute. Oh, come off it. Can you really blame me for complaining? I'm the one who has to read his crap every day. Uh, the kid's got motivation, but that's about all he's got. It seems any talent for writing in that family died with his grandfather. Oh, Oof. excuse me. Can I get another Gatore coffee? Yes, sir. Just a moment. Well, he's still our little money tree. No way in hell we're letting him go. <laughs> You're terrible, sir. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Do I use constant bitrate or variable? I use constant. I use CBR. Damn, this shit hurts. Thanks to that, however, we've managed to hear a good amount. I stream. I, I stream my CBT it, with CBR. It sounded like some kind of cafe. Indeed, I heard one of them say Gatore Coffee. Right, Gatori is the name of a cafe chain. But I don't think I saw any around Sendai Station. If there aren't a lot of them, it'll make finding the right one that much easier. Well, at the very least, we've got a lead on finding the trauma room now. Oh, that's what we're calling it? The trauma room? Perfect, just making sure. Why, a constant is better than variable? I mean, I guess so, because variable would just make me tank. Something's still wrong, though. Like, there's definitely a connection issue somewhere here. Testing this all on the giant screen. I will see pixels if they exist. The speed's fine. The speed is fine now. The thing is, I was not dropping any frames the last few weeks, and I'm wondering if maybe I just wasn't paying attention to the speed, and this was happening the whole time. But I definitely didn't... I don't know. I can't remember when I enabled that function. Mm-hmm. Katori Coffee, huh? Coffee? Coffee, huh? If that ends up being the entrance to the trauma room, we could find ourselves face to face with another real threat like last time. Let's get ready for any sort of combat that might get thrown our way. After that, it's back to the hideout. Then the Phantom Thieves begin the search for Gatori Coffee. Coffee! Wow. Brain, what are you doing? Welcome to More Gutom, please. Give me all that cow tongue. It would help with not dropping frames, but drop frames can be way more manageable than shit bits, yeah. Take a look. You pick the tier you want. Thank you very much. I'm sitting at a constant 3% drop rate now. Which isn't good. It's gone up since we started doing this. If it goes up more, I'm gonna be upset. I wish I could kind of just like 
you know, crop dust the drop frames out a bit. Drop, drop like one frame every like 20 seconds or something like that. She was looking so much more solid before. Like it wasn't that bad, but this is perfect. You're, you're, you're gonna cry. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, fair enough. You again. Is a total, not a general number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've got so that's what you think you there. We recommend thank you. So that's what can you so that's what can you we recommend you so that's what you can you can you hold all that? Thank you. Thank you. Are there people here? No, there aren't. Well, in total, I've dropped 2,200 frames in 20 minutes. And I stream it, I stream it 60 FPS. Okay, no one's available. Oh, I can turn in that quest. I might lower- honestly, I think what could help is lowering the bitrate a bit more. Which means you're dropping a small amount of frames over a long period of time, so don't be mad at the percent. It's gonna go up because there's still an issue, yeah. That said, I- I don't know if I even- because I have- I dropped it down to 3500. I might be able to still drop it down to 3000 and have it not be an issue. Because the truth is, this game- everything looks fine as long as I think it's above 2000. So I think dropping another 500 kilobytes per second might help me. But I don't want to. I don't want to cut this down into any more segments here. Are you double checking the request? Give me the Mermasa. Thank you. Stream at three thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. This should be helpful. What are you selling? Are you sure? Okay, Mermasa's for Yusuke. Probably should put him back in the party now. 94 and gives agility plus two, a replica of the katana loved by the loyal warriors of the Mikawa region. Perfect. Hmm. Ready to kill this charity event? Hell yeah. We both are. We're gonna we're gonna rock this charity event starting tomorrow. Or today, I guess, technically. God, I can actually go for some good curry right now. I'll just add this. Oh, I need the shop. Where is it? There we go. Welcome. Are you sure? Coming. Are you sure? Coming. Are you sure? The power anklet's really not worth holding on to. I think we could probably ditch that. Then again, it's only worth 800. I might, might as well hold on to it. Yeah, as long as the stream's looking good, it's all good. Here's what I, found. I just get paranoid. Now then. Well, I haven't saved in about an hour. Alright, um, we're in part 7. So if we hit one more hour... Well, there's also an hour spent off stream. Ugh, well, whatever. I could probably go for another hour and a half of this. I really wanted to do, like, four tonight, but... Be honestly, beating this dungeon's probably where I should go to, where I should I'll hope to be. This. Really though, we're pretty much done with this dungeon now. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the panic room boss, and then it's gonna be, um, and then it's gonna be the, uh, the, the stage boss, then we're done. Alright, we're on the hunt for a Gatore Cough. First, let's find out how many are in the area. I get to kick back and relax for a bit here. There's only one that's close to Sendai Station. Whoa, that was fast. It's a bit of a walk, but I'll be happy to guide you to the destination. You're amazing, Sophia. It's like you were made to be a navigator. Ugh, but being the navigator's my job. Don't worry about it. You're amazing too, Futaba. You're adorable, Futaba. I would say you're adorable because she was my girlfriend in P5, but 
I feel like she's not gonna react well to that here. Where's that coming from? It's simply a question of having the right person for the right job. Fear not, Futaba. There are plenty of things only you can do. Hmm. I guess that's true. Nobody else can act like a weirdo quite like you do, Inari. Wow, and she was Ooh, he was complimenting you. you. Alright, I guess we'll just head over to the cafe then, yeah? Yeah, let's get going. Okay, I've got it. Futaba Savage. Atore Coffee. This is it. Gatori coffee. I can smell the coffee. Seems to be just an ordinary cafe. Are we sure we have the right place? We'll just have to put in the keyword and see. All right, let's make it happen. The trauma cells calling our names. I thought it was the trauma room. Trauma cell? It's just a name I came up with. Trauma room sounds like some kind of cheesy hospital drama. Okay, fair enough. Seems fitting. Sound logic. Call it whatever you want. You gotta roll. My the ass. The key to opening that birdcage has gotta be here somewhere. Do you remember the keyword? We've only gone in there a million times. It's Prince of Nightmares. Yeah, why would we forget the keyword? It's literally the name of the book. Whoa, Inari looking kind of kind of noodly there. I that I want that that's going to be the thumbnail. I got to make a note of that noodle Inari thumbnail. There. Now I won't forget that. Terminal 7. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna... just like what happened in Shibuya. This is where Natsume's drama comes from. I just want to see if I can, uh... Okay, wait. Yes, perfect. Damn it, that the circles get in the way. Beautiful. Oh, wait. <sighs> Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> Fied. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Look at that. That right there, that's a thumbnail. Maybe, maybe move it over just a tad so I could put the overlay. Perfect. Remember this moment. Remember this moment. Noodle Man isn't real. He can't hurt you. There. Saved. Haru oh, got a fucking dump truck ass there. God damn it. What could have happened to him, I wonder? Shh. Someone's up ahead. It sounds like she was about uh, to say are you shit. Sure about this? Awarding him the grand prize for that? Ongo nuts. <laughs> the kid's entered every cup. But he's never made it past the first stage. He's as stubborn as he is incompetent. Not a hit party. His writing is so painfully generic, it only becomes more obvious when you compare it to the other candidates. <laughs> what? That voice. Is it not Sume? It can't be. He acknowledged my work. Shit. It's fine. He's the great Sogo Natsume's grandson, remember? Brand recognition is a huge part of marketability. <laughs> Nobody gives a rat's ass about what's beyond the cover. Though a certain someone seems to think he's actually worth a damn. Well, Jesus. I can't even see just how hopeless he really is. <laughs> Seriously, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, I'm trying as hard as I can. No skin off my nose. So long as he keeps raking it in. So he's already he successful. With that one. <laughs> I plan on riding him straight to the top. And if he does by some miracle make something decent of himself, well then everyone wins. 
right? <laughs> are the worst. Here it comes. Okay, jail time. Right on. Tell them to hack like you was hopeless. Hopeless! Hopeless! This is the fight in the first dungeon that royally fucked me up. This is the same thing we saw in Shibuya. Careful! It's using different weapons from last time. These apparently are like harder than the actual end boss. Oh look, light. Already, already found its weakness. Oh, it's weak to white and dark. That would never work on this thing. I wish you could hear them a little better here. He had so many knives. Ooh, that hurt. I will say this game as a whole gets way more manageable after the first dungeon. Everything that first dungeon threw at me was like a little too much. But like afterwards, it's like the, the balance has been perfect. Dungeon seemed like a lot. It was. Like, the dungeon itself wasn't bad. It was mostly just the, the end fight. Like, once you got up to the lockkeeper here. And also, that approach up the uh, tower was hard. But also, at that point, you didn't have a lot of items. Now I have way more items than I did before. Like, a ton. Data sync mastered. Performing Y or mid air Y attacks with good time will increase the attack power gauge by one upgrade level. Cool. Does she have Diorama? No, she doesn't. She's a plain ass Dia. Enough SP. Good. 
good. Being able to spam items too is very much worth it. Makes it way better uh, than vanilla P5. See, it's symbolic, because it's not just a jail for the people that the villains of the game are, like, entrapping. Whew. Well, I guess that does it. Rather, all right. So, like, the dungeon, the jails are, are places where the people who have their desires stolen are stored. And it's ruled by the, the villain who's doing it. But it's also kind of a jail for the villain himself, who's being watched over by the warden. Which is probably why the warden enemy is so much harder than the fucking boss. Then again, I haven't fought the boss here yet, so who knows. We can get inside the birdcage now, right? Better get going then. Wait, but what was that we just saw? Seems Ango Natsume wasn't given that award on his own merit. Those editors just used him for his name. So, there was a secret behind that novel after all. But, he's not a bad guy, is he? It sounded like he entered the competition a whole bunch of times. And just when he thought his hard work was paying off, he had to hear all that. It must have been devastating. So why did he plagiarize all the work, though? Those editors are horrible. They knew his writing wasn't good enough, but they still gave him the prize just so they could make money. They're the ones to blame. It still doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nevertheless, I'm beginning to understand how he feels. Fox? Sad music time. Rising to fame atop stolen ideas, pulling in people's emotions with a fabricated story. Even worse, robbing others of their free will, changing their hearts, and wallowing in his own vanity. These crimes are unforgivable. There's no denying that he's been a fool. And yet, in spite of all that, it doesn't change the fact that Natsume spent years giving Yeah, they're paying him for his legacy, not his talent. Creative work is often a lonely endeavor. And battling against that loneliness is truly a challenge in and of itself. As if it wasn't hard enough, if you don't produce results, no one will even think twice about you. One might even begin to think that such dark and unfulfilling times are all that's in store. Had I taken one wrong step, I may very well have turned out to be just as hideous as me. Kinda got quiet there, Yusuke. What were you saying? It's thanks to your friendship that I didn't stray from the path. He, however doesn't seem to have anyone. Natsume should know better than most that there's no meaning in superficial glory. And now he's turned his back on what he truly wants to write for the sake of spinning this infernal novel of lies. Someone needs to bring him back to his senses. You seem pretty motivated this time around, Inari. As one who's dedicated his life to art, I simply cannot condone his actions. Now, let us bring this to an end. We'll send the calling card, then rest the Overlord from his throne. Gonna smack his shit, yeah. We're gonna smack his shit, and then we're gonna tell him how bad he's been. Yeah, that's essentially what they're doing. They're paying him for his le for the legacy, not the talent. That fountain pen probably belonged to his, uh, his grandpa. I thought it was his father, but... That's what happens when you can't actually see the characters they're talking about. While we're doing a uh, text here, let me load up. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, all that's left is the calling card. Well, we need to make Natsume aware that we're coming to steal the designs. That should materialize them. 
We'll need to decide how we want to do it. What's the best way to make sure he gets the message? Uh, I'm not looking at the screen. Let's do what we did in Shibuya. We'll hand it to him in person. How about email? I mean, we can't do what we did in Shibuya. There's no TVs here. That only worked because we had all those people to help spread the word. It probably wouldn't work here. Hmm. What do we do? Mommy! Mommy. Could be lost, maybe? I'll go take a look. I'll go too. I'm worried for him. Uh, one sec. Just give me one brief memento here. Ignore that. had my Twitch page open, so everything was, like, e echoing heavily there. Um, sorry about that. Uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. I, I was going in to delete the two, uh, the two recordings that, uh, got made while I was troubleshooting, because they only lasted, like, a minute to 40 seconds each. There should only be three recordings now. The, the ten minute one, the one hour one, hey, and the- Oh, it's Sengiji. What's wrong, kid? Oh, you got separated from your mom. Don't worry, I got you. Is that Sengiji? What? Ramsu's already here? Hey, it's me. I got a kid who was separated from his mom here. Send someone over to look after him, would you? I'm over it. Huh? What do you mean it's not worth pub sex time? Quit screwing around. You call yourself an officer of the law? Or are you saying you'd abandon your own kid too? Is that it? A lost kid's no joke, you know. <laughs> hey, wait. Where are you going? It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. Uh, the kid totally thinks he's a creep. Oh, these tropes are, are too much for me. Kid sure made things difficult. He didn't have to run away like that, right? His right. hands are so fucking big. You're not exactly cute and cuddly, Gramps. Honestly, I don't blame him. Will you stop? Oh, you're right. His hands are pretty big. This is perfect timing, though. Actually, let's ask Zenkichi what he thinks. Sure. We're supposed to be working together anyway. We're all set to go inside Natsume's jail. There's just one thing left to do. Only problem is, we're not sure how to send our calling card. Calling card? Oh, you mean that thing you guys did with the screens in Shibuya? You don't remember all the well, times we did it you should avoid six months ago? Stuff like that. The police aren't that stupid. Eventually you'll get caught. I know I'm supposed to help you and all, but I've got to draw the line of breaking the law. Hmm, so the adult's the voice of reason here. You really are a Gramps, you know that? You're pretty set on calling me that, aren't you? Whatever. He's like in his My 20s. Go with something simpler. We need a way to guarantee that Natsume will read the calling card. Maybe if we knew where he was going to be, we could set something up before he arrived. She just said, okay, Boomer. <laughs> in that case, I found just the event. Natsume is holding another book signing at the bookstore. Oh, never mind. He's 40. Damn. Natsume will most certainly be there. It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. Oh, that sounds doable. I bet it'd be easy to set up if we roll in at night. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? Breaking and entering's a crime, you know? Wait, okay. Natsumi's holding another book signing at the bookstore in his station. He will certainly be there. If it's a book signing, he's gotta be there. Otherwise, who's signing the book? It starts as soon as the store opens at 10 a.m. It's pretty late for a store to open up. Yeah, okay, Zenkichi's 40. He's he's six years older than I am. Damn. But breaking and entering is fun. Yes, it is. Well, that's where you come in, Gramps. 
Huh? Yeah. He did it and got caught. They'd lock us up. Also, oh wait, Kuro, you don't keep your streams, do you? I upload mine to YouTube. I was gonna ask what format you save them in because uh, I just realized I can't edit these because I'm currently saving them as FLVs to save space. Uh, MP4 is probably way better, but apparently I can't remember what's you no know, MP4. The thing with MP4 is it gets corrupted if the if the stream ends and you don't get you lose the file. So I was worried about that and I changed it. You upload them straight to you. Wait, you do? I didn't know that. I gotta follow your YouTube. I don't think I do. They'd lock me up too! You saying you can't do it? Somehow the police turned out to be. Wasn't the deal that you'd cooperate with us? I thought adults kept their word. Uh, you kids. Alright, it's seven. I will go and prepare the calling card. Yeah, you got this, Yusuke. That goes for you too, Zenkichi. We'll leave the planning to you. You've got this. We're counting on you. Don't mess this up, alright? Am I seriously going to go through with this? Listen to me. Natsumi will look for the calling card tomorrow morning. Then we're going to finish this. You should prepare while you have time. Once we head in, there's no turning back. Yusuke's handmade calling card. It's time Natsume got a visit from the Phantom Thieves. You have an arcade, uh, an arcade, you have an archive channel, cool. I have, a, I have a stream channel and I have a basic channel, which, uh... Here's what I found. I should have uploaded a, a thing about the, uh... Charity streams to it. This should be, what are you selling? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Well, I actually didn't pick up anything. Which one? Okay, I think we're fully prepped here in terms of what they're selling. No. Rescue pills we do need though. Let's you take those, please. thinking about it, but I figured it just it just works super on the channel facelift right before. Uh, let's make another LeBlanc curry. Do you want to cook this one? All done. I want to eat some too. See, now I wonder what leveling up my cooking does. Does it just make it restore more, like the item up? Uh, are there more requests today, actually, before I- before I dig into that? I actually did save it as a thing. August 3rd, August 8th. Okay, Lending a Paw, Sendai Sweets. Talk to On, once you finish the request in Shibuya, come back to Sendai. Painful Pass, Prison Mail, Take Back the Desire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. All right, I'm all good until the eighth. That's when the next uh, batch of these unlock. Now then, probably gonna have to put use in my party. Yes. Hey, loaded shell. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for the raid. Understood. I won't trust Zenkichi with this calling card. Regardless of what drove Natsume down this path, he has been gripped by vanity, turned to evil. Has a stream. Um, a little. T it was a little rocky going in. Uh, Kuro here helped me set it up properly. It was the, the the stream quality was dipping hard. Now it's just kind of dropping a tiny tad, and it looks fine. If he cannot see the distortion in his heart, then he will lay it bare. The game is fun. <laughs> I hit, it, I hit it with a wrench and now magic happened. Good morning. I see. There's quite a crowd today as well. Uh, yes, about that. What is it? What? 
What is this? Well, when the staff came to open the store this morning, it was already like this. They called the police, but they were told to leave it as is. To preserve the crime scene. Ah, Zenkichi, you son of a bitch. You swindler, Mr. Ongo Natsume. You are a depraved miscreant who holds others in contempt and steals their work. Finding your own pockets all the while. We refuse to overlook the crimes you commit as you wear a false crown. Tonight, we take back the desires you've stolen. <laughs> Honestly, how stupid can you get? Damn it, what nonsense! I am the monarch. My followers are loyal. That is, as long as I hold their desires. No. Having those desires is proof of my claim to power. Proof of my sovereignty. I won't hand them over. I won't give them up! Uh, I think you will, buddy. heroes are nothing but talk. Wish it would follow that up with the with the meter filling up to 99% like it is in uh, P5. And yeah, someone's a little unsure of themselves. All right, his cognition should be changed now. Thank you for all your help, Mr. Detective. <sighs> and with that, I've officially become an accomplice of the Phantom Thieves. What are you complaining about? You're the one who proposed working with us, remember? As a reward, I'll try to start calling you Zenkichi instead of Gramps from now on. Okay? Inspector Hasegawa is quite a mouthful. Yeah, Zenkichi is good, don't you think? It's a cool okay, name. Then. From now on, you're Zenkichi san, alright? I'm looking forward to working together, Zenkichi. Oh, fine, whatever. You've already dragged me along this far, kid. Now then, the desire should have materialized at this point. It's up to us to take them back and return them to their rightful owners. Meanwhile, Zenkichi's like, what the fuck are you talking about? His distorted heart straight. Let's do this. We're taking back those desires. Ugh, that was a flub. We're taking back those desires. Never played Persona and have heard good things about it. Would you recommend it? Yes, I would. Ooh, that's some good distortion there. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, Persona Five Vanilla or Royal on PS Five or Four is very good. Is a very good starting point. This game is technically a sequel to it, though it really doesn't spoil a whole lot from it. Uh, this isn't really a Persona game either. This is like a, an action game. Oh boy, time for uh, VOD mute. Okay, uh, on. You can take a break. Yusuke, you're in. Wow, Sophia's. How did Sophia reach level 25? She was 15 at the beginning of the last stream. I really should level up Makoto and Haru at some point, too. Get them on level with everyone else. Okay, they're doing. They're doing the same thing they do in Vanilla P5, where they had the, the lyrical version play the first dungeon. And now every dungeon after until the end, it's going to play, like, the, the instrumental for some reason. Let's go. We're taking back those stolen designs. Yeah, Natsume won't know what hit it. The less good version of the song. But yeah, my upload of this, uh, of the first dungeon got, uh, it got copyright claimed for having this song in it. <laughs> Like this version gets you pumped. I mean, I like the version with the lyrics, but uh, Atlas was like, "We're putting ads on your video if you're using that." <laughs> Oof. <sighs> yeah. Okay, more treasure monsters, please. Maxed out. Perfect. Treasure demons. There we go. I'll just add this. Yeah. This 
This is probably gonna be the last gameplay related thing I do tonight. Age of Vanity. Ready, we'll take them off your hands. Let's settle this. <laughs> Such foolishness! The slightest idea of what you just walked into. An appearance. It stands. This is no doubt the overlord from Prince of Night. Ripstream, never mind, it's just on your end. Okay. Uh yeah, no. I I I've had enough of stream rip right now. Though I will say, um, I will say, I really have to use the bathroom all of a sudden. It's becoming a bad habit. I don't like doing that in the middle of the stream, uh, but I will be back in like one minute. Sorry. Okay, we good. How long was I gone? Minute? Two minutes? He certainly gives off that impression. But weren't the fearsome four just dressed like normal people? Yeah, thinking about it. Those guys didn't get much love from the author, did they? <laughs> you come all this way. Like a minute. Okay, good. This world belongs to me. I'm gonna go till 3.30, so I figured if I'm going another hour, I need to go to the bathroom now instead of hold it in. Savage. Your reign is not but an illusion. Allow us to show you the truth. Hmm. I'm sick and tired of everyone looking down on me. Yes, it 
time has come for my true power. What you shall witness. My final form! It's a phony. Look, these horns come right off. Durgan. Oh, he's Bahamut. Is that the Dio pose? Oh my god. Just straight up doing Dio poses. Bad. I've seen worse dragons. So what anime did you steal that one from? <laughs> I hate to say this, but I might want that to be the thumbnail now. Yep, of course he's weak to ice. We barely damaged him. Glacial Conviction. Oh, he's using ice. But he's weak to ice. What is he actually weak to? So, like, all the stuff in his arena he's weak to. Pierce, they said to stick him with the pointy end. Watch for those pointy bits. Changing elements? Uh, I don't know. Even if he is, he's still weak to uh, ice and uh, light, no matter what. I don't like how switching keeps you in the same spot. Like, it just pulls whoever you switch to to you. I kind of like the other Warriors games where it just makes you switch to where they are. I think it's plated ass, yeah. Oh my god, we have not done a lot of damage to him at all, huh? Oh, he was, uh, he was, like, damaged. Where's my, uh, or he's, he had defense up. That's supposed to refill 50. That refilled 100. Thanks. Yeah, having that thing upgraded, having that ability with healing items upgraded is, is a godsend. This one. His armor was adding well armor, yeah. Use 
this? This one. Thank you. I am down. Okay, now we're doing damage. Good. Thank you. I wish I could like take time to read that stuff in the corner. Freeze and then hit him, break that armor, yeah. Whipping his ass. Haha, <laughs> what if we made the, the dragon have underwear with the tail sticking out of it? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> funny dragon butt. Haha, <laughs> what do you think his tail smells like? <laughs> and that's the kind of content we will not be talking about the next two weeks on the stream. After that, who knows? I really... Wait, no. I don't... Is that really all the uh, single... Here it is. Yeah, asking for a friend, haha. -ha. Who's this? This one. This one. This one. So grateful. Sorry. This one. Plenty of frozen pineapple. Persona! We need to avoid taking a direct hand at all costs. It's up to you. Sure. This power! Persona! Jack Frost! Archangel! Jack Frost! Archangel! Fly! Lamia! Circulus! Hisaka! I'll use this! I can do it! Keep it going! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Lona follows us! This part Nightmare Dragon Ongo. 
I liked in Persona 5 where all the bosses would have, um, like, they would have the name of the creature they're supposed to be, like, in their name. Thought that was a really neat touch. Pretty, it's pretty rad, so you know what they are exactly. mixing is uh, is pretty rough <laughs> time to use that uh where is it hotspot sendai Dragon's naked now. Wow, he's literally just wearing like tidy whities huh? He's wearing briefs. Uh, nope, that ain't happening. Fair bit easier than the last boss. I can do much with this, I'm sure. Freeze boost. Increases in chance of inflicting freeze. Greatly decreases down gauge of one foe when landing a critical. That's actually really good. Vicious strike. Medium chance, okay. Yeah, it's probably better to just get rid of Cleave. Also, I keep forgetting that these personas can just relearn skills if they really need to. Diorama. It's 6 and 16, okay, so I lose quite a bit, but... Again, it really doesn't matter. Divine Grace increases effective healing skills. Okay, that's really good. Game over, Mr. Overlord! <laughs> Ryuji, accept your defeat. Wait! We can rule this world together! You can have half! <laughs> My mantle! My magic armor! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Is that his true form? Looks like it. Wow, he's got an ass, though. So in the end, even his identity was just a cheap imitation. He do be kind of thick, though. It's over, Akunatsume. You're just a bunch of stupid kids! You don't know how much I suffer! It's not too late for me! I've still got my reputation as a writer! 
for you. This faith you've acquired through deception and the brainwashing of others. Is that truly what you wanted? What was the real reason you started writing novels? I... I mean, I... Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> really tried. Just like everyone else. Sume's grandson, no one, no one ever acknowledged my effort. It's very clear just how much work you've put into writing your novels. A life led by creativity is almost always a lonely one. No matter your profession, you were battling that loneliness. You braced yourself, pouring your very soul into your writing, bringing it to your publisher time and time again. He's like, nah, rip off anime. Such effort and determination. <laughs> there are many out there who would give up that battle. Even those of exceptional skill and creativity, to be able to Unlike continuously you. bring life to new works without giving up, however. That is perhaps the most exceptional talent of all. There was once a time when you kept fighting. That is one part of your career that could never be labeled fabrication. So start over, Ango Natsume. Claw your way back up from nothing and move forward, after all. There are some things that's funny the second time painting without a blank canvas. <laughs> it is because everyone believed in me that I was able to choose the path I walk today. I stopped lying to myself and was able to begin anew. So it is now my turn to pay it forward. Even if I'm the only one in the world to do so, I will believe. The stream's been a bit of a hot mess, hasn't it? Okay, you think we'd ask, like, how did you get like this? I don't need it anymore! Wow, look the... I'll climb my way back up. And I'll do it on my own strength! The, the horns really do come right off. ...that'll capture the hearts of countless readers, just like my grandfather before me. I'll write something I can be proud of. To everyone, I swear it! Good. And I'll be looking forward to the day I get to read it. <laughs> No, I really am stupid. How did I let myself forget? I know now what it is I really wanted. <sighs> Cage is collapsing. Come on, we're leaving. With that noise. That's my pro controller wigging out. Alright, well, I'm going to keep going for like another 40 minutes or so. Just to bring this up to a three hour stream. I kind of really wanted to go longer. Maybe I'll just go until the next point where I could uh, control. Because if I'm sitting here doing nothing that entire time, then it's really not that bad. So I am gonna get control and send die for a bit before I go, probably. Looks like it's over for now. Mission complete. I wonder if everyone's desires have been returned yet. Probably. They all went flying out of the cage after all. I want to see for myself. Maybe we should check on the people back in town, just to be safe. Good idea. 
That said, the jail didn't disappear this time either. Now I'm, I'm a cat. Sure. Jails really aren't the same as palaces. Well, we can worry about it later. Indeed. Let's, Let's go. go. Something bothering you? Ah, that bothered me. My clicky. I'm not sure what's wrong. Natsumi tried his hardest, but somewhere along the way, he lost sight of what mattered to him. He is a strange person, Natsume. Yeah, she's a bipper. I'm a beeper. Waste of a talent, if you ask me. No, God, no. This is a new start for him. He was a crook. Wow. Uh, there's definitely a right yes, answer there. He did say he would climb back up. Yusuke said Natsume lost his way because he was alone. Whenever I think about that, I feel restless inside. Even though Natsume hurt a lot of people and was, for some time, one of our enemies. What is this feeling? Maybe it's sadness? It's the same Yusuke had. The same as Yusuke? I see. So that's why Yusuke saved Natsume. It was because Natsume's reason for doing all those terrible things was really sad. I think I understand now. Sadness can hurt people, but it can also save them. It can give humans a reason to support one another. Couldn't have said it better. I think you're right. Yes, I'm sure that's it. I, sh I should have picked the top one. Okay, we should probably get going. Bond? Nope, no bond. So you know how I was all excited for the Tanabata festival that's coming up? My boyfriend says he's already got plans. Oh, by the way, did you ever finish reading that manga I lent you? I got someone else who wants to borrow it. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it worked. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking about Natsume anymore. But now they're talking about manga. As it should be. Attaining fame through some deceptive power doesn't fit his image. This wouldn't have been possible without you being there to open his eyes, Yusuke. You really took charge today, Inari. He was a real hero. It was rather touching. That's our Inari. Yeah, it was pretty emotional, huh? A real work of art. Oh, he's gonna like that. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Level up bond? Oh, another new ability. Avenger. Evading an enemy attack can grant a counterattack. However, we're not finished just yet. We must confirm whether the change of heart was a success. For now, we'll just have to wait and see how things turn out. Ugh. Well, since we've got some free time, can we unwind at a bathhouse or something? Oh, I'm totally be. Oh, yes. Bath scene. The, the obligatory bath scene. A little before we head back to the car. You heard him, Sophia. It's all you. Okay. I'll find the best bathhouse in the area. He's gonna be in his underwear IRL, too. Hopefully not. Yes! Oh! That was in the lot. We don't get to see the bathroom scene? Come on. Persona, where, where, where have you gone wrong? Sendai, press conference venue. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I've called this press conference to give an announcement, as well as a formal apology. First, my novel, Prince of Nightmares was recently bestowed the honor of receiving first place in the Sokaisha Awards. I have decided to give the award back. I've also decided to recall all published copies, not to mention take the necessary steps to refund everyone's money. I'm sure you all want to know my reasons for doing so. The truth is, my book, Prince of Nightmares, only one because of my status as Sogo Natsume's grandson. In short, the competition was fixed. In addition, I've also stolen the work of countless other authors, word for word. Lastly, the story I told about writing to inspire a hospitalized girl was nothing but a lie to garner sympathy. This fabrication allowed my book to sell a number of copies it nowhere near deserved. How'd you mention to make people buy it? For this scandal. And I'll start by personally seeing to it that everyone who bought my book is refunded. I promise my writing career ends here. I am deeply sorry for all that I've done. 
to all of you. Uh, hold on, Mr. Natsume. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Hey, time to wrap it up. Get everyone out of here, now. Please, don't interfere. This is my way of taking responsibility. It's your f it's those two guys' fault for all the shit, hey, honestly. Something doesn't seem right here. Mr. Natsume's the one who put this thing together, right? Do you think the editors were just trying to profit off Mr. Natsume's family name? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh shit, Yusuke's uh, getting directly involved. Uh, who, who are you? I will not allow this. You... You were the one from the party. I'm so sorry for what I said back then. I will not allow you to cower and run away, Ango Natsume. You intend to make a comeback, do you not? Huh? When you do return to the literary world, I want to see a book with your name on it, not your grandfather's. <sighs> you are going to write a novel that you can be proud of, are you not? We'll be waiting. Give it your very best. You're not alone. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Where are they supposed to be? Once everything is rightfully resolved, I will make my return. Even if there's just one person out there waiting to read my stories. No matter what, I will keep writing. I only hope I can one day save someone's soul. Way my grandfather's novel saved mine when I was young. That is why I write. Okay, but how did you how did you manipulate people? Like how did you do that? Like how'd you do the thing with the dungeon? Alice can't tell us for some reason. It's weird because they seem to have uh, kids or something else barging in on a press conference like that. My apologies. It was imperative that I speak with him. Eh, it's fine. All right, well, I gotta run. I have to go question Natsume. Why? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't end with just an apology. He got sponsored by Bad Dragon. He's doing his job. It's almost like he's an actual cop or something. Well, what's Natsume under arrest for, exactly? Anyway, it won't take long. So go on and wait for me back the car. Plagiarism? That's not really... Is that so an arrestable crime? Right. We'll leave the rest to him. Do you have a moment? Something about Natsume's been bothering me. What he did was no doubt unforgivable. Nothing will change that. However, was he really like Matarame? No, oh, not even close. Evil like that? Palace rulers be confronted in the past? Had he simply ignored his editors, would he have strayed from his path? Or am I perhaps just sympathizing with someone? False advertising, who maybe. Like myself? What do you think? <clears throat> he wasn't a bad guy. He hurt innocent people. I don't know. So you think so as well? Then what is the purpose of these jails? Oh well. I suppose there's no point in thinking on it right this second. Forgive me, I didn't mean to hold you up. We should return to the car as well. Be extortion to a degree, yeah. Let's go. Looks like everyone's headed back to the camper. We should go too. How's it going? Oh, I can't buy any more of that you one. The good stuff. Come shop with us again. Okay, while I'm here, I might as well go on one last uh, ingredient run. Welcome. Probably not my last. I'll probably get one more tomorrow. No, not that. Ah, fuck. I fucked up, guys. Oh. Nothing more we could do now. We should wait at the hideout until Zenkichi reaches out. Out, fuck. Thank you for coming in. 
Is that what you'd like? Thank you very much. It's a popular product. Thank you very much. Thanks for stopping by. Popular product. Home of the bloomin' fuck out oh, fuck. Home of the bloomin' fun. Take a look fuck you. That's a popular thank you very much. That's a popular carrier, thank you. How may I help you? Is that what you want? And here you are. <laughs> Sitting here laughing like an idiot, your own joke. Hey, no, it's a funny joke. <laughs> joke approved. I'm not joking. Okay, let's get some more pineapple for the road. You hmm? count soda. Absolutely worth it. We've got so we've got so much cow tongue. We could like open our own restaurant at this point. After some time, Zenkichi came to the hideout. And that about sums up Natsume's confession. So once people friended him through Emma, they'd become his fans. It's just like what Alice said. So much lick. And Natsume's smartphone worked the same as Alice's, too. There wasn't anything off about the Emma app or the phone itself. So we got nothing again? I didn't say that. Just like before, there were traces of someone snooping around in there. For real? Oh, that's like 13. 13, 14? It's the same as Alice. Did Natsume have a stalker too? What does it all mean? It means someone was monitoring both Natsume and Alice. Well, any idea who it is? Sorry, I got nothing. All I found were traces. Yeah, our first for real of the Alice night. Alice and Natsume were being watched by someone. Hey, Zenkichi, did the police know about that? No. The only reason we know this guy exists is because Sakura sifted through Alice's smartphone. So aside from the fact that they both used Emma, this mystery observer is the only thing linking Alice and Natsume together. If the police didn't know that, why would they assume these two cases are related? Well, these are some very peculiar cases. But mainly, it boils down to the nature of the crimes and the timing. The timing? All of the change of heart incidents occurred at roughly the same time, that being within the last three months. Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. Months ago is around when Emma was released. Well, Emma is being used to perpetrate the crimes, so that makes sense. Could someone be exploiting it? The group behind it seems shady. Damn right it does. That company putting that thing out is suspicious as all hell. What are they called again? Madams? Medici. Oh, well, at least you got the mad part. For what it's worth, I'm investigating on that front as well. Still, we're talking about a major corporation operating on a global scale. You can't just walk in and start poking around without reason. You haven't found anything suspicious yet? Not yet. No. At least, nothing's come up from checking the individuals involved. And the John Madden's. If our mystery observer was connected to Medis, though, then we'd have grounds to conduct an investigation. Hmm. Do you think there's someone pulling the strings in this case? Yeah, no shit. The incidents are similar, but they could just as easily be unrelated. Guess we'll have to see if the other incidents have any overlap as well. That's one of the basic rules of investigation. Find what the incidents do and don't have in common, then start narrowing things down. 
For now, looking into the other incidents is our best bet at scoring a lead. This is true. We'll have to do what we can for the time being. And if we look into the other jails and their monarchs, we might learn something new. Then, if we're all done here, I'm heading to Sapporo to see what I can find at our next target. We'll rendezvous on the 8th. I'll contact you the day of. Three days. Should be an easy trip with a car. No need to rush. The target's not even in Japan until... I guess we are only doing one dungeon between this and the big plot point. Wasn't there a festival happening around here soon? Sendai's famous for its Tanabata festivals. Lots of good food lined up, too. Or so I hear. Yes, I did see decorations being put up here and there. Anyway, I'll see you in three days. Don't forget. I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? Do we have Yukata? I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. Let's do it. I can't wait. I'll wear one too. Hell yeah. Like I said, I have. Oh, okay, we're gonna buy it. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. I have a Juban. Which is the underwear under a kimono. I've only wore it once. I would love to get like a real kimono Dude, someday. I got all the boots. As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata san, and it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He's Lord Date Masamune, the one I dragged in a potion. <laughs> He's gay. What are you, his retainer or something? They sell those at anime cons. Yeah, I got it at Anthrocon, actually. To pick what, to see first. what do you think? Yaki Soba. Let's try a shooting gallery. I want to check out the masks. I would definitely be the guy saying, let's go get the food first. Also, bird. I'm cool with that. Oh, line. I didn't even notice. Yaki Soba food stand always tastes so freaking good. That's a bird, but it's also supposed to be Phoenix Featherman, I think, which is like the uni uh, the Persona Universe's equivalent of a Power Ranger or or a Toku character. Uh, let's hold off on the food for now. I want to check out all the boots with Mind you, Mario first. too. Speaking of which, have those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Look, this furball's got the claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait! <gasps> Lady on, you look absolutely gorgeous. Mafu Tava looks cute Thanks, in hers. Morgana. Sorry, tying the obi took quite some time. It, it do be taking time. It's fitting for the summer, it was worth the wait. Can I get a closer look? I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna... Not from Ryuji, though. Picturesque. You've brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make it feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? What? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. What are we talking about here? Oh, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? Water balloon, yo-yo, or water yo-yo, yo-yo balloon. Oh, okay, I see. It's like the water thing on a string. Yeah, I knew it! I mean, it's only a little bit, but there's still some water inside. Yeah. <laughs> having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. This game Ooh, makes me really upset that I can't eat. You have soba, you have tori, shaved ice, we've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Tohoku. What are we waiting for? Charge! 
I want food. Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah! Let's start from one end and get one of everything. It feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though I have no objection. Tanabata is about wishes, so. Show me how to catch goldfish. I had fun with everyone at the festival. Bomb points, please. Thank you. I want pizza. Oh, God, I could go for pizza now. Maybe I'll get that Friday for lunch. Mm, that was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Gotta hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's Lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Got some of this place across the street. I'm so taking you to some someday. Do you live right near food places? Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. Trick is to catch them once you've read them. I I live in a suburb up in Union County, so it's like the closest place to eat is still like a 10-15 minute walk away, and. We don't have a lot of variety in my town, and I also don't want to go out to eat while there's still, you know, a deadly virus out there. So I have to door dash everything. But I don't, I don't live anywhere near, like, a f like... I don't live in a place where there's food very close by. <laughs> the closest food is in my house. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. Pizza and hibachi, we'll a minute time. from your house. Oh, that sounds so good. Yo, you guys having fun? Get your asses to uh, to Sapporo or whatever right now, Kyoto. No worries here. We are. How about you? Just working. Not really anyway. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Alba campus. Session. So they're going to jam? Not that kind of session. Oh. The CEO of Matisse is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. Alright, what's in it for us? <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that, that's I'm stupid. Glad you get it. And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says... Oh, the, the CEO... Okay, so there's an image of the CEO from of that company going around online. It's very clear who he's based off of when you see him. What else can you tell us? Do you have a name? His name is Akira Konoe. And he looks like a capable CEO. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away. All right? What did you want? That sounded weird. I told everyone about Senkichi's call. <clears throat> Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. University of Toho Lecture Hall. Whoops. As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. Okay, so check this dude out. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice, or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. 
Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. He looks very familiar, like he's been in a bunch of superhero movies. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It's through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I do. I'm not sure. What do you think? I think there is. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? Hey, who brought their fucking cat into the lecture hall? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the Monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. I like how Futaba's the only one that has to sit away from everyone else. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Grand was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. As long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Real boys taking the monarch's desires and putting them in jail. Something like that. I think maybe I think it might be like a layered thing. Like all the monarchs take the people's desires, and then all of the monarch's desires were initially taken by the head honcho. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. And that's my presentation on Emma. Damn it! <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Ugh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that Pick easily. people with baggage so we can control well, them. Possibly. Maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Uh oh. Huh? I think if this is anything like Persona 5, even if that CEO ends up being like the big bad, there's gonna be someone manipulating him too. Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Oh fuck. What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. You could say Gyutan. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Oh, right, she heard Morgana meowing in uh, the, the Gyutan restaurant. Mona? Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. What the hell are we gonna do? Play innocent. We should run. Time to come clean. We should run. Whoa! Stop! Stop! It's all right. So, I don't. I don't want to name drop, but um, I know this character's voice actress. In fact, she's my uh, she's my volunteer boss. Uh, <laughs> she's the one who owns the uh the voice acting club, and the one I moderate for sometimes when I have time. <laughs> This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. It's funny because she's in this game as that character, and then in the original Persona 5, the main ally of the Phantom Thieves, uh, Mishima, is voiced by my other friend, uh, Sean. Wow, to think you guys are the famous Phantom Thieves! But apparently Mishima's not in this game, so there you go. But it's funny that they're both they're both in one or the other Persona 5 game. 
I got the wrong guys. We were just pretending. I think you misheard us. Come on now. Don't try to hide it. When you guys mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She knows too much. She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Is this the part where Ryuji says fuck? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Yeah, you never mentioned Around that. Around the time I finished developing <laughs> Emma, Medis came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Does that count as a for real? By the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. We have no connection, we just walked in. And Medis is simply the ones running it? Well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's Ladies the big bad, no. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them. So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. She can understand Mona, calling it. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. I wonder, though. That would be very interesting, because her, her whole thing is that she can never mistake the sound of a cat. I wonder if she can actually hear Morgana speaking. That'd be crazy. But also, it wouldn't make a lot of sense, because the whole reason she heard them in the first point place is because she heard a cat meowing. So she wouldn't have known that Morgana was there if, if she could actually hear him. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. Influence. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. Man, we're supposed to be in Kyoto tomorrow. Oh, Sapporo, that's it. She has to know what Emma can do. Yeah, of course. What do you think? Let's tell her the truth. Let's ask her for help. Let's play dumb and run for it. I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then we may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing venture, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Cheese it! Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! I mean, how else could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means... That function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm. So many questions. X to Ooh, doubt. Wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. Let's help each other. We'd like your cooperation. Think you could help? Let's help each other. Oh, 
I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. She's either a spaz or an asshole. I think she's she's just overly excited. She just devoted to her research, like like one of those like tropey anime scientist girls who always have like messed up hair. There's one of those on Black Clover of all shows. A show all about magic. There's a scientist like obsessed with them. It just aired the dub episode the other day. Ooh, okay. Um, lost my train of thought because I was gonna say something. They gonna do with like bringing the people, like the Attack on Titan lady? Yes, exactly. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on. Tell us about Emma. Tell us about Medice. What happened after you sold it? Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Oh! Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. There we go. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Yeah, the, the busted parts. It's fine, just the way it is. The researcher is just squealing with delight. So, what do you say we seal the deal? She must, like, be fucking loaded for designing an entire OS and then selling it to a company. She must have gotten paid, like, buku bucks for that. Here's to working together. Okay, looking forward to it. Packrat, junk parts become easier to obtain. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia? Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, well, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, nope, can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Damn, you just met her and you're asking her for her code? Sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. We're about to leave town. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Is she just gonna show up in Sapporo now and tomorrow? She's not evil. I, I'm pretty sure I, she's a new shop. Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Guess that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Well, if an evil Sophie shows up, don't come to you. <laughs> Next stop, Hokkaido. Time to say goodbye, Sendai. Anything you didn't take off your list while we're still here? This is your last chance. Well, let's hit the RV once you're good and ready. Once you choose to go to the next city, you will be unable to return to the city you're currently in. Make sure you buy limited items and take care of business that can only be done in the city. Unlike the cities in the real world, you can revisit past jails at any time. However, be aware that requests obtained come from... However, be aware that requests obtained from conversing with your friends in past cities will no longer be available to accept or complete. Okay. Hey yo, can I borrow you? There's something I want to do before we go. I shall await you at the entrance of that Mount Awa Park Shrine. Everyone's bashing Natsume now, but to tell you the truth, I was a little impressed. Whether it was triggered by the Phantom Thieves or not, apologizing like that takes guts. Maybe I'll skim through his book next time I see one on the shelves, or at least take a glance at the title. I think what I'm gonna do, because if I go to the next city now, 
it's gonna, first off, it's gonna be like 30 more minutes of playtime. What I might do is I'll do everything I can here, uh, save it, and then I'll grind in my spare time between now and when this game comes back to stream. Let's go for a fortune. We got Blessing. That's not too bad. Nice. Some bond points. Recently, our visitor count has returned to normal. There also seems to be less concern among the people. Perhaps this is all according to the will of Lord Date Masamune. The issue is if I go to the next town, I'm not going to be able to grind because I won't be able to go into any dungeons if I stop in a cutscene. At least if I stop here, uh, I'll be able to go back to the jail in my spare time and level up so everyone's like the same level when the game returns in uh, a week and a half. I'm thinking of hitting up a ramen joint before we roll out. Apparently Sendai is all about the spicy miso ramen. You believe I never heard of that, but way before the trip? And it's pop, here you are. It's pop, here you are. It's pop, here you are. You should grab one last bowl for yourself if you think you'll miss it. <sighs> Man, do we really have to leave already? We're so busy, I feel like we barely got to do anything here. I'm definitely looking forward to our next stop, though. Sapporo is the place for ramen. Phantom Thief saved the people of Sendai, but I don't think that will be courted in this region's data. But it's in our memories, right? That's all that matters. Yes, I've recorded it. I feel that I've learned something new. Hello, dear. Is that all you hear you are? Thank you. How may I help you? Is that what you care? I should Again. probably not go overboard with spending right now, because as soon as I get to the next town, I'm going to have more stuff to buy. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. that, that is really good, though. Shouldn't we be going? Next up is Hokkaido. Make sure you've taken care of all your last-minute shopping and sightseeing. If you'd like, you can even train for a bit in the jail. A little workout before a long car ride could do wonders. Good, thank you for letting me know that that's an option. The, where is she? There she is. Yo! There you are. I want to get a picture in this cutout board before we head out. This is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I gone ahead and called Inari over too, so you should join in. Sure. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Then let's start making some memories. <laughs> okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Masamune. In the blue corner we have Inari. That's fine. Hmm. I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. How's this? Ooh. Whoa, this is crazy! You really do look like him! <laughs> Looking good, Yusuke! Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting! Very artistic. Make a funny face. What's up, Masamune? Not quite. Is that really necessary? Hmm. There's still something missing. Oh, that's right! Oh, I know! Michael, you get in the other one. That's it! Ha <laughs> here comes the princess. Cute couple. Something is amiss. Is it just me, or are we being exploited for her entertainment? Don't worry about it. It's part of the road trip. We're an item now. I like that one. Well, if you say so. Right, right. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, see, he's totally into that. 
But maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this. Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Inari, you're Lord Date Masamune. As ruler of the Tohoku region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it. In that case. And perhaps like this. Like what? Yeah, he looks really into it. Wait, what? You think you can win the respect of your people like that? Ugh, then how about this? Uh. Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. Uh. Everyone had fun at the photo stand-in. It was way shorter than the last one. Oh, listen up. This Kuanichi Noze seems like a pretty big name in the AI field. So she's a computer expert who could apparently blow off the whole world around her during a rant. The verdict of an ex shudden Sounds like she might not be the most social butterfly in the garden. Maybe that means... Well, don't worry. She's got a whole bunch of new friends now, with plenty of experience breaking through to people. Hey, don't sell the power of social anxiety short. Although, I will say, a fellow geek is easier than anyone else for me to talk to. Come on, come on! She's gonna do the Phantom Thieves a world of good, so we should just let her do her thing for now while we go to high... Excuse me, while we go to Hakai... She's gonna do the Phantom Thieves a world of good, so we should just let her do her thing for now while we get to Hokkaido. Hmm. Oh, Did yeah. you know two million people come to the Tanabata here in Sendai every year? After those crowds we saw yesterday, I'd buy it. Man, can you imagine if we came here last year? I'd have been KO'd in an instant. But now, I could go souvenir shopping all on my own, no problem. I mean, yeah, it's still because I know you're all nearby, but still... By the time this trip's over, I'll be strolling through crowds all by myself, whistling a little tune. And then you shall cower at my might. <laughs> I still want to take a picture, but I think my face is too small. Alright, get one last good look at Sendai, because it's about to get sent off. Coward at my ability to stand next to at least three strangers. What a coincidence. Look, Michael. It's a Tanabata de decoration. Beautiful. It may be a standard tourist souvenir, but I find it still has a certain elegant charm. Apparently, these festival decorations are not solely for display. Individuals may write down their own wishes and tie them to branches. Common wishes include the happiness and success of family and loved ones. I see. Yes. What say we display this one in the RV? Considering how wishes and desires are one and the same, it would make rather it would make a rather fitting souvenir for our trip. Tanabata decoration. I've been thinking. Money, power, fame. These are what warp a person's true desires. That is what makes staying true to one's heart so important. Hmm. That's a key item. A gift from Sendai, a miniature Tanabato decoration made with love. Yeah, I have all these microchips and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Junk parts became easier to obtain. Let's get one for that. Oh, this is maxed out. Made with love, and in China. Granting an enemy skill can grant a counterattack. Evading an enemy skill increases damage when fan. Okay. I'll take exactly five points for that, so. If you evade an attack with perfect timing, it will counterattack that enemy with the skill of your current persona's affinity. Though risky to attempt, you'll get a huge advantage if you could strike your foe's weakness. Only missing three abilities at this point. I had a great time at the festival yesterday. Yeah, counter with the no, it's counter with the persona's affinity. So if it is a weakness, then yes, that's good. Otherwise, it's just kind of normal damage. In fact, I haven't had that much fun in a good long while, and all of the food was great. I noticed everyone was gorging themselves more than usual. Was that food especially delicious? Well, it was good, but I think it was the lively atmosphere that made it so easy to get a little wild. 
The dazzling lights, the colorful decorations, the roar of the drums in the crowd. My head was buzzing from all the laughing. All these once in all these things come together to make a once in a lifetime moment. And so, got it. Fun things make for special memories. This is the last we'll see of the Tanaba decorations for the year. We should take lots of pictures. Oh wait, no, I need the pineapples. I need the pinyaps. You were good. Hmm? Got two. You got got ten. Got Q ten. Saibon soda. Guess what? Bookworm's account is back. The culprit totally admitted to it. Well, it seems like Bookworm will be up and running in no time. Yeah, Phantom Thieves, you're the greatest. So apparently, like, the ingredients and recipes, if you miss them in the local area, you could buy them later from, uh, from, uh, Sophia, but they're, like, super expensive. And he says thank you, and the girl's jaw drops. <laughs> All the signs and posters of Natsume are already gone. It's like he was never here. I wonder if that means he never actually had anyone in this corner. Wait, please hold on. That is not the case. I found a number of posts online where people are supportive of Natsume. Oh, in that case, I think he'll make it just fine in the end. Hey there. Who knows, maybe he'll publish another book at some point. I'd be willing to give it a read. Although on second thought, I'm not so great with print. I think I'd still support him if I wait still be supportive if I waited for the movie version to come out. I'm terrible. Even the thought of asking some rogues to change the heart of my love makes me the lowest of the low. Were such a thing to happen, it would be of no consequence. False love is no better than false hope. I would only be condemned to suffer. Very well, then. I'm going to ask her out again. I'll get a proper job. Put some money aside from our future. Did someone yell, oh shit? I think so. Mere affection is not enough to protect what's important for you. To you. Wait for me, honey pie. Someone's yelling, oh shit. See the Pacific Ocean from the observatory. That is indeed what they are saying. Oh shit. Welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, no one's left here. By one last shot at Gutan. Welcome! Just immediately when you came out from talking to that guy. <laughs> I should write something. Almost 22 hours. Alright, let's gather at the hideout. I guess I could choose to just leave. Go to next city, yeah. Here's what I found. All right, all requests done. What are you looking for today? Are you sure? What are you selling? There's a sale happening. Now's your chance to give thanks for your patronage. Okay, we're good there. I don't know if we got anything new yet. We'll probably get new stuff for the next uh, city. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, let's go over what's happened so far and what our next steps are. Firstly, we successfully changed, managed to change Ango Natsume's heart. The frenzy throughout the city died down and the fans have turned back to normal. And we met the developer of Emma, that Ichinose lady, at the lecture hall at Toho University. She sure was strange. Pretty amazing that she's the one who created Emma, though, huh? Yeah, but then again, she ended up selling it to Medis. Can't help wondering if she's smart or just plain weird. Whatever she may be, we made a deal with her. Maybe with this, we'll be able to wrap our heads around this Emma situation a bit better. Our next destination is Sapporo Central, correct? Yes. Yes. It appears that Kichi has been keeping an eye on someone there. Very likely a monarch. 
I wonder if this person is changing hearts on a scale where even the police would be altered. That could very well be. But at any rate, we need to see for ourselves. Hmm. Let's go to Hokkaido as soon as we're ready. I'll just add this. Alright, and I'm gonna save... 21 hours, 53 minutes. Alright, that's pretty much where I wanted to be. I wanted to be at 22. Seven streams, three hours each, with one hour done off stream total. So yeah, I think I've hit my goal here. Um, that's pretty good. Let me do the elusive double save just to make sure. And we're golden. Or I guess we're strikers in this case. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks for coming, you guys. A special thank you to Kuro for helping me troubleshoot my stream. Even though, uh, I'm still dropping some frames, I could probably mitigate that if I lower my bitrate a bit more. But, uh, yeah, we've had a pretty good run here. Uh, Persona 5 Strikers, I guess if you're watching this on YouTube too, this might help, uh, help you out a bit. It's gonna go on a hiatus until at least the 22nd, which I guess on YouTube would be the 24th, because that's when it'll be uploaded. Um... Uh, because from tomorrow until the 20th, I'm going to be participating with Kuro and some other people, uh, at, in a big charity event for Starlight US, uh, which if you're wondering, check Twitter about that, uh, there's plenty of, plenty of information, I don't want to go into a whole thing about it, uh, I will say that all streams between now and then will use an overlay, which I'll give you a sneak peek of right here, I've been working very hard on that, well, I worked very hard on it for all of an hour, uh, but yeah, there's going to be plenty of fun stuff happening. Plenty of Mario games, uh, I can already say now. Where is it? Mario Maker 2. Bowser's Fury. Uh, where's the 3D collection? That's that's in there somewhere. Mario Galaxy. Uh, and maybe a few Super Nintendo games, too. Uh, this weekend will be showing up. I'll be posting my uh, looking cool Joker. I mean, Zai. <laughs> I'll be posting my link with the stuff uh, when that happens. Uh, one thing to note for anyone watching this stream, I guess, uh, that's, that's thinking about it, uh, I will have bits and subs notifications disabled while the event's going on, and it'll just be donations. Donations, follows, and raids, more or less. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely give to the charity rather than giving to me. But more details on that later. Uh, I'll probably post something on Twitter, and, uh, as always, you'll have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow night with, uh, likely Bowser's Fury. Y'all have a good night. Thank you. Later.